Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. Today I'm going to share with you guys the 2022 Superstar. In my opinion, I think it's the best Superstar so far I see in this 2022. And as usual, I'm going to share with you guys my three different looks based on the shoes. Let's go. My first time when I see these shoes on the Adidas website, I immediately ordered this. I couldn't wait because I really like this pair of Superstar, you know, it's kind of refreshing compared to the traditional Superstar that you often see. A lot of like pattern that kind of upgraded and also some functional piece that they added up on this Superstar. Yes, some people might don't really like that kind of change, but to me, I always looking for the design aesthetic and the innovation of the design. This is one of the new and better on this Superstar. Often people just do customized shoes, but how can you make it new and also better than the traditional one? So this is the one that actually offer that. And often when I order stuff on the Adidas website, I ship it directly to my home. But this one is an exception because I couldn't wait to see these shoes on my hand. I ship it to the store, went to the store, I was rushing into it and also rushed through the traffic lights as well. I just like, man, my heart was so pumped. I really wanted to see these shoes in person because look at this upper. It looks so cool and the color may be not for some people, but to me, the color is dope. You know, kind of bright color, yellow with black is kind of perfect color combinations in my opinion. That's why this is the best 2022 Superstar so far. The retail price was $100. When I got to the Adidas logo store, I was couldn't even wait for the cashier bring out the shoes. The moment when she dropped the box on the table, I immediately opened the box and just look at it. I was like, wow, the shoes is even better in person than on the website. I even saw the reactions on the cashier as well. She also really liked the shoes. Maybe reaction through the colorways, that's most often people do that kind of judgment, you know? They're based on the color instead of design, aesthetic on these shoes. Anyway, let's get a closer up into these shoes. I'm so pumped, man. If you're really into the traditional one, then I think this is the next level of the superstar that you are looking for because they have all the elements of the superstar. However, they have a lot of cool, a lot of cool detail and also the texture that they place on these Superstar is really fun. So close up on this Superstar, the eye stay, they use suede material and the first three eyelids doesn't use the metal eyelids like the last three um, with the matte finishing in la these last three. So it's more secure and go to um, the quarter and the back of this Superstar. The quarter is not the traditional Superstar as you can see. A lot of different pattern there with texture and material place as well. In the middle of the quarter, under that three stripe, um, they use textile. On this rubberized reinforcement in the forefoot and on the back in the heel counter as well as at the mustache um, is a rubberized as well with the, with the screen print of the Adidas original. Um, some people may don't like the color, but to me, the color is fun. Kind of step away from the traditional color often you see on the Superstar. And also, if you're not really into this colorway, they actually have alternative colors for you. It's more like a neutral colors, not too crazy, not too much rubberized material on the upper. They basically use the sway instead of this uh, rubberized reinforcements in the forefoot. But I think the rubberized that they use on this upper in the forefoot and um, the heel counter with the mustache, I think it's pretty connected to uh, the shell toe. You see, because the shell toe is the most iconic 
is the superstar you can see it right away from the far and this shell toe the texture is actually different from the traditional shell toe as well um, i think the traditional uh, shell toe is have the star like kind of texture on the surface of this this one it doesn't have it uh, since we mentioned about the shell toe i have the problem when i wear the superstar when it's brand new um, i have to break it in because it hurt my pinky toes every time I wear the Superstar like a couple, one or two days and after that my feet will get used to the rubberized shell toe because you gotta have time to break it down you know on these shell toes and also a very nice detail as well instead of the heel pole like they designed it in the middle here you can see more often but actually this webbing piece heel pulls at the side very functional i tried this wear them on it works mention about this button though at first i thought it is um it's just a decoration detail but it actually is it's functional as well you can just unsnap it like that and put them back and the button, I think the screen print is a little bit um, cheap. I don't know because you can see this kind of fade away right now. The screen print of the logo. But I don't care. There's a, enough logo on the shoes anyway. From the back to the side and the tongue. So let's go into the tongue. The tongue, they have two pieces of pattern. In the front, they use kind of smooth texture, um, nylon, waterproof. And also in the end of this tongue, they use kind of rough nylon texture in the end of the tongue. Um, this is very techy, um, tech wear kind of looking style. I'm just curious what if they change different color like Black. I think a lot of tech wear people would love these shoes and also another detail that I really love about these shoes is uh, the tongue pull with this kind of very pop yellow three stripe and the tongue pull is enough to put two finger in there right that's pretty nice I really like this a lot of cool detail and it's look very fun as well you know so usually when i wear the sneaker i try to a little bit like try to match the color on the shoes because i create three different looks so i gotta have like at least one looks that is actually match with the sneaker however my classes i don't really have yellow color apparel so it's kind of hard for me to just imagine the color i think i always have a hard time to style with the colorful sneaker it looks fun emotionally but to me it's kind of hard to match up with this kind of bright color sneakers so let's get into the laces i actually like the laces just like at the webbing pole in the tongue because i love how um the black laces with the dash um yellow pop they also offer you secondary additional laces as well but to me if you are really into like bright color you want to draw more attention to your sneaker then you use these laces as alternative you know so the insole surface have leather texture i think this insole is pretty comfortable if you ask me because i wear them um have screen print of the adidas original and also another different uh screen print logo in the left side is and plastic waste i think adidas is very commit to sustainable products and also recycling plastic um i think they've done a couple projects it's pretty cool somehow i really like this also um it's more like a hiking performance wise explorer uh tooling uh, this also is also they use it on the collaboration between Rick Owens and Adidas. I actually have a pair of the shoot with this tooling. I think it's great. 
it's kind of refreshing when you see so much traditional superstar in the market and you feel like hey i want to see something different this is it's uh, something different that offering you um collab with uh, rick owens and adidas that was one of my favorite shoes and also one of my favorite collab in uh, the footwear industry so there you have it this is my review on this 2022 superstar and up next i'm gonna share with you guys how i personally like to style them hopefully i can style it good because this yellow is kind of hard for me to style but i really love this color yellow though color yellow and black is a perfect combination <laughs> So there you have it. This is my quick review on this pair of Superstar. I think it's the best so far for this 2022. And I couldn't really wait until like what kind of shoes that Adidas will release this year. And also I create three different looks based on these shoes. I'm wondering what if they create a, the mid cut or the high top Superstar based on this upper. If you like one of the look, if you like this video, give me a thumb up because YouTube will share my video to more audience. And that's kind of give me a motivation through every single time I create a video. And subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys.